Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to resolve an error message you might be receiving on Windows 10. Specifically, the error code is 0xc00000d. So, while you might not be able to necessarily boot into Windows, um, we're going to be starting from our computer already logged in. However, if your computer is unable to boot, you should be using your Windows 10 original installation USB or CD and plug that into the computer and then boot to that while the computer is booting up. That is another way to get to the area that we're going to be arriving and working with today. So just keep that in mind. You don't actually have to be able to log in to Windows to be able to follow this tutorial. But anyway, assuming you are able to log in and you don't have your installation media, um, it's probably the more convenient way and that's how we're going to do it in today's video. So we're going to start by heading over to the Start button. And I'm also going to be holding down the left Shift key on my keyboard. So while I left click on Restart, I'm also holding down the Shift key on the keyboard. And then the computer should restart. So while the computer is restarting, I might as well get everybody who cannot boot into Windows up to speed. So pretty much if you have your Windows 10 installation media, you would just plug that into the computer and then as if you were installing Windows, you would select the language you wanted to install, you would set the time and date, what country you're located in basically. And then once you left click on next, you would arrive at a page that would say install now in the middle of a Windows dialog box. At the bottom left corner, there's a link that says repair your computer. That'll take you to the area that we're going in today. Hopefully you guys up to speed in the video as well. We're going to continue on here. Because this is the page that everybody should be on at this point. So we're going to left click on troubleshoot. Then we're going to left click on the advanced options tile. And then we want to left click on command prompt at the top right here. Okay, so it just will take a moment to load here, so just be patient. Really shouldn't be a big rush to get this done. Okay, so we can choose an account to continue with. I'm going to select my main computer user account, which is named computer. If you guys are curious, yours is probably not going to say computer. It'll say whatever your name is or whatever you named your username. So I'm going to enter password here. So now that we have an administrative command prompt open, we're going to type in boot, capital B O O T R E C, boot rec. Then we're going to do a space forward slash fix mbr and then we're going to hit enter on our keyboard so we can see that it says the operation was completed successfully now we're going to type in boot b o o t same deal capital b and boot boot rec boot rec should all be one word then you want to do a space forward slash now type fix boot one word fix boot all lowercase now you want to hit enter again so we can see the operation was completed successfully so now what we want to do is type in BC D E D I T so B C D edit all lowercase space forward slash export another space C so lowercase C colon sign 
Now you want to do a slash in the other direction. So, so backward slash. B C D B A C K U P. So B C D backup, and then hit enter on your keyboard again. Now it says the operation completed successfully. Now we want to type in A T T R I B space lowercase C colon forward slash boot forward slash bcd now you want to do a space now you want to do a little minus sign h another space minus sign r another space minus sign s and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard once again so now you want to type in r e n all lowercase space c colon forward slash boot forward slash bcd another space now you want to type bcd dot old old and you want to hit enter again alright I promise guys we're almost done here so we're going to type in boot rec b o o t r e c space forward slash rebuild b c d and then you want to hit enter so now it says scanning all disks for windows installations please wait since this may take a while so just be patient here and at this point we're pretty much over the hill and all we have to do now is just tap Y on our keyboard to add installation to the boot disk so I'm going to do a capital Y here and then I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard so we can see the operation completed successfully so at this point you can type exit and then hit enter on your keyboard and at this point you should be able to exit and continue to your Windows computer and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.